Welcome back to 2K TV, Bill yeah. Simmons, the sports guy. Now, the sports guy is your nickname, but if you were a player, what would you have as your nickname? Um, washed up. Washed up, yeah. that's it? Yeah, I, I quit pickup like <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna end it, right? He's going to end it. I'm going to end it. I feel and a shot from before as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. Traffic heading in and out of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. The setting for our broadcast tonight. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. So here's Miami's starting group. They've got Big Dog. Big Smooth out there with Evans. Then there's Boss. And it's a one-do in at the power forward position. And for the Timberwolves, Red Hat is out there with Baller. Then there's Boozer. And it's Cool Hands. And it's ABC in at the three slot. The entire offseason leading up to tonight, Steve, as a player, do you already know if your team uh, has a chance to be special this early? You know, Kevin, yeah, you do. And I think the teams that I've been on and teams that you see and saying we don't have a chance to win, you try to trick yourself. You're looking at management and ownership. Can we make a deal throughout this year to get us in, in contention? But you got to be realistic. You know the team that you don't have a chance to win their championship. And the shot is long. Minnesota with the ball. Boozer kicks to Rodriguez. Fires from 14. They shoot again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throws of the game. Ready. At the line for two. And he makes the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Sutton passes to Evans. Here's Big Smooth. He kicks it to Martin. From deep three-point range. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Here's Redding. Can't hit from in close. Evans outside. Passes it to a one-do. The putback, it's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Rodriguez in the post. Evans is there. Back to Rodriguez. From deep. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Or Miami, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Out left to the wing. From the arc. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Now here's Rodriguez. The shot, no good. Four shots, four misses. And you can sense a certain frustration building. 18 feet out. And it's Evans missing. The Timberwolves have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. ABC, it's good. And the lid comes off the basket after four straight misses. They finally get one. 
Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Redding to the wing right side. The shot by Rodriguez, no good. The Heat have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. And Boozer with the block. Rodriguez feeling it out a bit. Pass the ball. Pass to Boozer. Stolen away. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Now, here's Rodriguez. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Knocked loose. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. It's deflected. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Heat moving the ball around. Outside, Martin. From deep, Evans. Again, the miss by the Heat. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. The pass to Rodriguez. to Boozer over Evans another miss by Minnesota the heat with the lead Martin dishes to Evans they could use a bucket no good that time Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep here here's ABC no luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And ever since the big three era ended, Miami has sort of defined middle of the pack. Yeah, for the last five seasons, they haven't won more than 48 games or lost fewer than 37. This is what happens when you rarely select in the top 10 of the draft. You become reliant on free agents. And that's a tricky, sometimes heartbreaking approach. Here's Redding over Evans. Moves back up. And he sinks the layup. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Steve, we've heard Commissioner Adam Silver broach the idea of a mid-season tournament. Uh, how that would be structured, I don't know. But do you think that could possibly work? You know, I think it's a possibility, Kevin. One, I think you definitely have to have the season shortened to 75 games, 68 games. I think you have to do it on the back end of the All-Star break because we know so much as far as the calendar. When can you fit this in? Maybe three or four days after the All-Star game during that week. Expand that time off of maybe three or four days. It's possible. Checked in for the Timberwolves. Heat also with the sub. The Machines checked in for Big Smooth. There's Big Dog. The one do passes to the Machine. Six on the shot clock. Trying to end the drought. Minnesota with the rebound. Boozer's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kicks to right, pass to ball. Pass to ABC. 
Pass to right. Evans with it. Now right defender. Four on three break. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Here's Cool Hands. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Up top right. From 12 feet out. Tries again. That's tipped. And he's able to get it back. There's the triple. Minnesota gets it back. And a new shot clock of 14 seconds. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. B comes in for cool hands. And Big Daddy subbed in for ball. The Wizard, he's checked in for Miami. Prez comes in for Silk. The kick out to right. Shot clock at six. Another miss by Minnesota. Minnesota comes into this one following a loss to the Rockets in Houston. There's the pass to the machine. Out to the right wing. Here's a one-do. Passes it to the Wizard. Hoosier with the rebound. Minnesota's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Right, the pass to Big Daddy. Back to right. This one for three. That shot missing. And it's Miami the other way. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. The Wizard passes to a one-do. to the machine and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot too no question he got bumped on that shot it's his first trip to the line shooting two And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. Timberwolves trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Releases from 15, and that one drops. ABC's got his second bucket of the game to go. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Here's the machine. He lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Boozer. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And so Miami again turning it over. They can get back in front with some points right here. Yeah, they got behind, but really hung in there and didn't let the score get out of hand. Now here's Wright. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Boozer passes to Big Daddy. Just five on the clock. Knocks it loose. Here's a one-do. Nine-point game is last outing, and they're able to recover. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. tipped and so it's Minnesota with it the Timberwolves trail the pass to ABC here's Big Daddy from deep three-point range misses that one he's 0 for 1 from the floor and that one gives them a plus 5 rebound advantage Kevin now Prez
passes to Big Dog. Here's the Wizard. He's covered by Boozer. Pocket four. And again, it's the Heat missing. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. And now the fast break. Prez with the ball. And he makes that one. And the Heat lead by three. Here's Big Daddy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. He dishes it to right. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Big Daddy. Six to shoot. Shoots the three. Second chance shot. The pass to Pete. From deep. And the quarter ends with some stifling defense right there. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. He lead by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. second quarter fairly close game so far and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the heat i love their effort contesting shots trying to intimidate here early on and you can see it's already having an impact it can cause shooters to think twice timberwolves trail by three on the court for miami here in the second Big Dog is out there with the Wizard. Then it's the Machine. Then there's Prez. And it's Sutton in at the three spot. Right. No good that time. And it's Miami the other way. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the first of two straight at home. And it goes down two points. The Machine's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. ABC passes to right. From 13, no good off the back of the rim. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. Here's Big Smooth. High point lead, the biggest of the game. Passes it to the machine. From deep three-point range, does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two late shots. Here's what Miami has lined up on their schedule. On Friday, the New York Knicks come to town, tipping off a homestand for them. And then on Saturday, they'll defend home court against the Chicago Bulls. The Heat leading by five. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Misses off the left eye. The machine's gone two for five tonight. Right, the pass to Big Daddy. Here's ABC. Timberwolves passing it around. That shot off. He'd have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Stokes, the pass to the machine. Stolen by Boozer. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And Boozer throws it down. You gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. And Miami has possession after the basket by Minnesota. Shoots from 14. Off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. They recover it. Miami leading by three. Here's the machine. Offline with his three. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. ABC passes to right.
pass to Big Daddy. Over to the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the defense. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Here's Big Daddy after the heat pickup, too. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. Well, Steve, it doesn't matter how they do it, but there are some players, as you know, that can get into another player's head. Uh, I guess like a Dennis Rodman, but there are a lot of them now that play and, and use that tactic. Yeah, Draymond Green, Kevin, Patrick Beverly, uh, Chris Paul, I think is one of those guys. Uh, P.J. Tucker, he doesn't really talk, but he, he has a lot of antics. There's a lot of guys that like to get in your head. Also, uh, Joel Embiid is one. He does it extremely well. some changes. Cool hands checked in for Boozer. Baller comes in for ABC. And Rodriguez is subbed in for Wright. And then for Miami, Boss comes in for the machine. And it's Evans in for Stokes. Now here's Rodriguez. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Redding. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick. For the lay-in. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Only allowed five points in the quarter. Plenty of space. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And the Heat lead by four. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, here's Redding. Miami grabs the miss. Outside, Martin. He kicks it to Evans. Eighteen feet out, got a piece of it. Here's Big Daddy, covered by Evans. Here's Big Daddy. Here's P, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. P's got his first two points. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. On the wing, Evans. And the pass to Sutton from outside the arc. A rebound by the Timberwolves. He's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Ball. No good. That would have tied it. He'd have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Rodriguez against Evans. Misses off the right iron. The Heat leading by four. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, up high to stuff the alley-oop. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. 
Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Timeout called the Heat. change here. A one deuce checked in. On defense, Minnesota trailing by four. And it's in there. Evans has got his second basket of the game. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Rodriguez passes the ball. Pass to Big Daddy. Lock at six. Deep, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Heat leading by six. Evans with it. Puts up a three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. He's got five rebounds tonight. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Here's Redding. He's got five. Five to shoot. Steps back and shoots. No good that time. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Outside, Martin. Pass to Evans. Three-pointer. He scores for only his third time tonight. Now three for ten, taking a climb out of the hole. And made only about a quarter of their shots in the first. Totally flat, but, but they bounced back and built the lead here with a much better second quarter. Here's cool hands. Rodriguez outside. The pass to beat. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's Redding. Here's the three. The rebound by Awundu. Awundu's got four rebounds in this game. Sutton. That one drops, and he's now two for five. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Rodriguez goes in. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Here's a one-do. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Here's the floater. The shot comes out. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. I'll be off to Oklahoma City for a meeting with the Thunder after this one. They hit the road with that. The first of a five-game run. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Down low. A one do. That's good. A one do's got his first bucket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Rodriguez passes the ball. And 
two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Minnesota making some changes. Boozer, he's checked in for P, and it's right in for Big Daddy. And then for Miami, the machine comes in for Big Smooth, and Stokes subbed in for Evans. Both good from the line that time. Miami leading by five. 53 seconds left to play in the first half. Stokes can't get it to go. Minnesota's gone over through from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Cool hands passes to Boozer. Yeah, the defender all over. For Minnesota, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And look back a season ago. They did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. free throw good from Boozer and working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second a nice way to get your offense going ABC's checked in for ball and so he makes both from the line Miami with the ball it's a three point game here's the machine Eight points for him. And Wright pulls it down. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. Miami's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Loser kicks to Wright, and he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Buries it from three-point range. The machine's got seven now in this quarter. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Heat up by four. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period with three points being their largest cushion. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the Heat? Well, so far, they won the battle of assists. They played more patiently and very unselfish in the first half. Good shot selection and nice flow of offense. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? Well, they're just not creating enough scoring opportunities, and they're pretty lucky they're not trailing by 15 right now. They need to play more unselfishly, work for better spacing, go stronger to the basket. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One guy has been getting it done is the machine. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. Timberwolves trail by four. Cool Hands is out there with ABC. Then there's Red Hot. Then there's Boozer. And it's Baller in at the two-guard position. 
That's the group starting the second half for Ryan Saunders. Now here's Evans. Chalk up two there. Evans has got nine. Aggressive move coming out of the half, penetrating into the heart of the defense. That was a good play call, attacking with the right guy in the right situation. Here's Redding. Passes it to Boozer. Rodriguez outside. Four on the shot clock. And it's blocked. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Heat leading by four. Pass to Martin. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And it's Evans missing. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And here is Rodriguez. Right side, Boozer. Six on the shot clock. Good, and Rodriguez gets the assist. Rodriguez has got three assists now in this one. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And every so often, Steve, we'll see two teammates fighting over a rebound. Do you ever have a teammate upset with you for stealing his rebound? A lot, Kevin. All the bigs I played with, those guys hated when guards came in. They would elbow you, and if you were on their same team, saying, get out of here, especially a lot of those bigs it was a lot of rebound incentives in their contract so they wanted to grab every rebound first one falls for And so it's Rodriguez with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. Trailing by two. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, last season the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. And now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. That will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do in the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thank you. The Heat have been all four of their chances so far in this one. Two chances. First free throw is good. The Wizard, he's checked in for Big Dog. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Rodriguez outside. Now 
Now the pass to Ball. Outside Boozer. From outside, off the mark. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Evans passes to Sutton. Here's a one do. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Boozer's got his 16th rebound on the night. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Here's Martin. Count it from 12. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Stolen by Martin. In transition, here comes Miami. Hoosier with the rebound. Hoosier's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Pass to Rodriguez. Lock at six. They need this one. The rebound by a one-do. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on Minnesota. Miami shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. He, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And he makes both free throws. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Passes to ball. Pass to Boozer. It's hauled in by the Heat. A oh, one dude's got seven rebounds in the game. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Evan. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain position. Right, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Big Daddy comes in for Red Hot. And then for Miami, the Machines checked in for Big Smooth. And Stokes subbed in for Evans. Here's Martin. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain position. Here's Martin. Shot clock at six. And there's the pass to a one do. From 10 feet out. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's 13 points for the machine. Yeah, good looking bounce pass to set up that one. And the Timberwolves call timing. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion. More ball movement, that should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team.
Big Daddy. Right, looking around. Pass to Pete. Here's ABC to halt the run. Traps in the tray. ABC's got nine points. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. From 20 feet out, a rebound by the Timberwolves. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Here's the machine. He's got 13. Here's Stokes. It's not going to go for him. Timberwolves go the other way with it. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Here's the machine. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. The big daddy passes to Pete. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. To the paint. Five on the clock. The kick out to right. Hits it from three-point range. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Now Prez. Pass to a one-do. Here's the machine. And Boozer with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boozer. Here's Stokes, and he banks in the layup. Stokes has got his second basket of the night. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Wright. That's the boozer. Here's ABC. Takes a three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Here's the machine. He's got 15. The shot misses. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Light left side. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Right. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Big dog is checked in for Miami. And so Wright nails both of them. The Heat leading by three. Here's the machine. He's got 15. That one a little long. Here's Big Daddy. And the foul called on the great one. That's his first foul. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Frez with the ball. From the high post, and it's good for two. Stokes has got his third bucket of the night. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Here's P. Tips it up, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. 
Here's the machine. Great look there, but off target. Here's Wright. Rebound by the Heat. The machine's got his fifth rebound in this one. Uses the glass to finish the layup. The machine's got 17. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. The big daddy passes to right. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the third. And they pick up two. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket. Using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Here's the machine. 17 points in the game. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And right, here we go. Count it. And it's now only a one-point Miami lead. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Here's the machine to the inside. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. The Heat have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. throw no good now here's Rodriguez looking to end his cold spell out of bounds Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession you love the pressure he's putting on them almost had that steal fantastic anticipation he has active hands even though he doesn't come away with the turnover he's disrupting their offensive flow we're at the end of the third and we've still got a close one he lead by three and don't go away we'll be back momentarily And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the, the wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Is it out there? Big dog. Then it's Big Smooth. Then it's the machine. And it's Stokes in at the point. And that was the right call. But when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And so it's Rodriguez with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. The pass to Pete. He feeds it to right. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. And some changes here for the Heat. A one-deuce checked in. And it's Evans in for Stokes. Pocket four, right from outside. And it's Miami with the rebound. Big Dog's got rebound number eight now on the night. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Rodriguez passes to Pete. 
Here's Cool Hands. The Timberwolves again can't hit. He'd have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Sutton passes to a one dude. Had a hand on it. Right, right side. Rodriguez outside. This is it to Cool Hands. Shot from 12. Can't hit that one. The Heat with the lead. Here's a one dude. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. misses. And the second free throw, good. Here's Rodriguez. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Cool hands passes to right. 11 feet away. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, easy call. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Pass to Big Dog. And it's blocked. And here is Wright. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Evans feeling it out a bit. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Right. Right side. Inside. Here's P. Can't cash in from close range. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Baller passes to Rodriguez. The pass to Pete. Right with it. Ball's knocked loose. 
And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Just another example of losing concentration. His fourth turnover of the evening. He has to start protecting the ball better. Boozer, he's checked in for Pete. Now Evans. Let's it go with a three. And again, it's the Heat missing. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Sutton. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Boozer kicks to Rodriguez. Back to Boozer. Over Evans. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. 14 points for the great one. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it. Good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. And the Heat call time here. Without question, the great one displaying his skills today. This guy is killing you, and so far I have Heat on the sideline. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Eric Spolster coaching the team during the break. He said they've played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. They have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Thank you, David. Evans against Rodriguez. From about 16, the rebound by a one do. A one do's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Evans against Rodriguez. And it's Evans missing. Timberwolves trail. Out to the wing. Here's Rodriguez. That shot is off. The Heat go the other way with it. Here's Martin, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Two shots. First one falls. And both free throws good for Martin. Timberwolves trail by three. Rodriguez outside. Here's Cool Hands. Just five to shoot. Baller passes to Boozer. Fades back. And the rebound goes to Martin. No one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. Two 
And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws, good for Evans. Timberwolves trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rodriguez against Evans. With the floater. Oh, that's blocked. But he recovers it. Hoosier, no luck. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Now the feed to Evans. And Boozer with the block. Rodriguez against Evans. Another miss by Minnesota. Boy, you can see his struggles from the field, and I think it's really starting to get to him. Stolen by Boozer. Pass to Rodriguez, and there's the call on Boss. That's his first foul. The machines checked in for Evans. Rodriguez outside, passes it to Cool Hands. Back to Rodriguez. Shot clock at six. To end the cold streak. No good. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. That's the big one. Throws it up high. Hammers the alley crew. He pulls off to Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Rodriguez outside. Down low. Here's ABC. It's blocked. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Heat on D. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Cool hands. But he stays with it. Fades. And the foul called on the great one. That's his third foul of the game. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. And the Heat called time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, The Machine. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. On defense, Minnesota. They trail by seven. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Now beyond the leaning, you 
could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The shot by Rodriguez, no good. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And there's a minute 45 left here in the fourth quarter. The basketball to end the run. Miami grabs the miss. And I thought that was going to drop. Looks good from here. Outside, Mark. Here's the machine. It's Martin on the wing. Just four to shoot. Hook shot on the way. And another basket for Miami. A nice form on that hook shot there. Minnesota with the ball. 11-point game. Passes to Cool Hands. And the rebound goes to Martin. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Big dog, the pass to a one do. And Boozer with the block. Here's Redding. Ripped away. 35 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's the machine. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Clearly a foul. One falls for And so he hits both. Here's Big Daddy. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. to ball can they get it that shot off the mark and you could tell he thought he had a little more space but the defender was right there the ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game and so Miami takes this one by a big margin they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. See you later.